All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I wanna to go over an important update to Google Ads keyword targeting. So on July 31st, Google Ads announced that in the coming weeks, broad match modifier and phrase match keywords will also begin to match words within the search query that share the same meaning as the keyword. So the beginning of this video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that Google has said with some of the screenshots from their different pages. If you want the source URLs, check the description for this video. I will put them all in there. If you're targeting broad match modifier keywords and phrase match keywords, it's also going to match very similar words that are in your keyword. So if you're targeting the keyword lawn mowing service, it will also match these search queries, grass cutting and gardening services. Now, before the update, you're going to see it just matched any of the search queries that contained these three words them. So services to mow my lawn. So essentially what they're saying is lawn mowing is a synonym to grass cutting, which is true. So it doesn't mean it's always going to be a perfect match. And it's the same thing with phrase match as well. So lawn mowing service. So essentially if someone does grass cutting service near me or local lawn cutting services, so it'll match a close phrase. But if there's other words in there, for example, mowing and cutting, they're going to be looking at the searcher's intent and Basically, Google is saying that words that share the same meaning will also be targeted with your keywords. So it's gonna expand your keywords a little bit. As of September, 2018, exact match keywords match close variants. So I went over this recently in a video, but if someone was targeting the exact match keyword Yosemite camping, it would match things like Yosemite National Park, CA camping, Yosemite campground, and campsites in Yosemite. So same intent, paraphrase, implied words. So exact match keywords were really expanded with close variants. It also started to match keywords with misspellings and keywords where maybe the words were mixed up a little bit. So if you did camping in Yosemite or again, campsites in Yosemite, it would match this keyword. So essentially there's no such thing as exact match keywords anymore. You can't disable close variants. And when it comes to modified broad match or broad match modifier keywords and phrase match keywords, it's really going to start to expand the search queries that your keywords are targeting. So I'm going to come over here. One of the main things that Google ad says is they're going to trigger the closest keyword to the search query. So in the instance that someone does search something like lawn mowing services or grass cutting services, if you're targeting both those keywords, Google will pick out the keyword that's the closest to the search query. So if someone types in lawn mowing service, it'll match that keyword. If someone types in grass cutting services, it'll match that keyword. So it's not going to have a mix and match here where it's going to be matching all of these keywords here and going into everything's going to go into one keyword. So you should still separate out your keywords when you're creating your campaigns. Now, some of the different things that Google says are best practices here. So monitor performance. So that's pretty much a given negative keywords. So you're really going to have to check the search terms report a little bit more. I'll go through that a little bit more in the video. And then in both of their different updates, so their update to broad match modifier and phrase match keywords and their update to the exact match keywords, including close variants, which were announced at separate times, they have used smart bidding. So you should be using smart bidding at this point. That includes some of the bidding strategies like enhanced CPC, target return on ad spend and target CPA. So you should be using those bidding strategies, but Google has announced that in both of their different announcements that you should use smart bidding strategies at this point, because that's going to help you drive the most conversions within your budget and really reach the goals you're looking for. So a couple of different, different examples here. So I have a campaign and one of my ad groups is lumbar back braces. So you can see my ad group up here is lumbar and the different keywords here that you can add. So the broad match modifier keywords would include the plus signs in front of every word that you want to appear in the search query. Phrase match would be surrounded by quotes. Exact match would be surrounded by brackets. So essentially my biggest takeaway from this is exact match will help keep your campaign more narrow and organized. So if you just want to keep things as close as possible, keep things very organized, then you would just target these exact match keywords of maybe lumbar support brace, lumbar back brace. Now, if you're trying to expand your campaign a little bit, maybe you have a larger budget, you want to make sure you're targeting all the keywords that people are typing in that are going to be relevant for your business. I would recommend using either broad match modifier keywords or phrase match keywords. I personally like to use broad match modifier keywords because I don't think the order that people type things in really matters. 
Now, a couple of best practices here is regardless of the keywords that you're targeting, so especially if you're targeting broad match modifier and phrase match though, you wanna look at your search terms report pretty frequently. So maybe you wanna make sure you're looking at it a couple times a week to see all the different search terms. So these are two different screenshots, some of the search terms that are coming in, this lumbar back brace. And just for some reference, I'm just targeting these broad match modifier keywords in my campaign. I was targeting exact match as well, but since exact matches include close variants like misspellings and similar meanings, I just figure that broad match modifier is gonna match all the same search terms that exact match would. So I might as well just keep those ones. So I'm just targeting two keywords in this ad group. And what I need to do is just make sure I'm looking at my search terms report pretty frequently so that I can find ideas for negative keywords. So for example, youth lumbar back brace, none of them are really geared towards youth. And then this other one is someone looking for a specific brand. And there's a couple others here. So Aspen, that's a specific brand. There's one where someone's looking for weightlifting. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're looking at your search terms report really frequently and adding negative keywords. So to the campaign level, I'm adding some of these negative keywords, Aspen, youth, weightlifting, weightlift, heavy duty, full body, suspender, and a brand name here. So you really wanna make sure you're adding negative keywords. And then last but not least, I still think it's really important when you're looking at your ad group and the keywords that you're targeting. So I'm targeting keywords related to lumbar support brace, lumbar back brace, and I'm sending people to this page here. So it's a specific page about lumbar back braces. And I think that's really gonna be the best way to make sure that your campaign is organized and you're gonna be able to optimize for quality score, which is gonna improve your ad rank so you can bid lower over the course of time. So. That's really where my focus is. I think keyword targeting is really gonna change, especially over the next year or so. So as they start to roll this out, you wanna make sure that you're targeting the most relevant keywords for your business. And I think the main thing is exact match will be a little bit more narrow and organized and broad match modifier since it is gonna start including some synonyms and some words that have the same meaning according to Google. It's really gonna expand your campaign a little bit. So. The main thing is just a test like you would with anything else, but I personally like to use broad match modifier keywords, but I think it's a matter of personal preference what you would wanna do and see how much you can test and then just make sure you're looking at your search terms report, looking at your negative keywords and continuing to optimize your advertisements for the search terms that people are typing in and your landing pages as well so everything matches up as closely as possible. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.